stream towards us. We are getting closer to the area of where these five male cheetah could pop up. But I don't think they have been found today. We're trying to gather reports from other vehicles that we come across. Epic scenes. I always am fascinated by the huge numbers of these animals moving, often just being led by one individual. And wonder how they go about making their plans. They all seem to know where they're going though. So, I'm not sure where these wildebeest are planning on heading actually because there's not too much grass that I know of in the area that they're heading to but they seem to have some kind of a plan in mind. There seems to be a lot more wildebeest in this area from when we were last here on Saturday morning. So the herds do continue to press north deeper into the Mara Reserve as well as into the Triangle on the opposite side of the river to us. In the coming weeks, we're going to get more and more action unfolding, which I'm certainly looking forward to share with you. Very good. It sure is heating up now. I am taking off one of my layers. If you can hear me squeaking around there. Holly, you'd like to know how many wildebeest are in each herd. That's an impossible question to answer. They all vary hugely and they come and go and join and disband. There's no set formulas with them. But I mean, if we just count how many are in frame now, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Call it twenty. And if you were to just pan to the left, Dave, and every full frame, if we just go, that'll be another forty, fifty, sixty, seven. I mean, there are hundreds just in this herd, and many, many more behind from where they are coming from. It would be a wonderful thing to be able to work out more accurately. I guess with the way technology is developing, we will be able to have a better idea of exactly how many animals are in each herd and how they split up and rejoin. But it certainly is something that does not have a set plan or program. Looks like there's some males trying to get lucky with one or two of the females within this herd. I'm surprised these guys are quite silent. Usually when there's this many of them, they're making a bit more of a noise, but we can't hear any of the characteristic But that is a sound that is going to fill our ears in the coming weeks as more and more of these animals surround us. That big bull standing head and shoulders above the rest of them. That's why he's possibly throwing his weight around a little bit. Okay. All right, well, we're going to keep heading on hopefully find some information on where these boys are up to. If any of you have just joined the safari, we are going to be out here the whole day. I'm teamed up with Davi on camera. So there's lots of time. And if we do find them after the safari, at least we will be able to go live on Facebook. So still good prospects. We're going to keep on hunting and send you back to Byron. <laughs>